everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We are playing Plan Z Chapter 1. Uh, uh, Anthony's piloting, I am watching, I am Josh. I'm gonna give a quick recap, if I may, Anthony, to let everyone know what's been happening in this riveting experience. Yeah, I go for it. Sorry, Gary, I'm not sure. The room's a mess. So basically, uh, Gary here woke up uh, and went to work, and he almost ran over this dude's wife, uh, who turned into a zombie. Really fucking obvious. And now here we are. Look how crazy Bill looks in that picture behind him. <laughs> I know. And in his portrait. I but, have uh, dolls in my kitchen sink. What? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> and that's, so... This game is interesting, because it's like... It's half a movie-based choose-your-own-adventure, and then random parts where you get to play it like an adventure game. Mm-hmm. But no one seems to have basic human empathy for other people because our dude Gary just, just or, uh, yeah, Gary called Bill's wife just a crazy woman, even though she's clearly going through some shit, and that's not very considerate. Yeah, and that's rude. So I... Very rude. I got a battery in the phone. Unnecessary cutscene. Oh, because you need to call 911. Yep. Obviously. Don't hold it like a candy bar, sir. You Neanderthal. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, I thought uh, I was doing that. Uh, I was like, yay! Uh, <laughs> oh. He looks like a hitman. He really does look like a hitman. He's like... And a little like Benicio Del Toro, maybe? Yeah, I can see that. Give me the keys, you cock -sucker. Like, what? Give me the so, keys. Sorry, Gary. Or, sorry, Bill. Your wife's gonna die. Oh, shit. Because it's busy. <laughs> That's not how busy signals work, sir. <laughs> like, it's not on your end. <laughs> Uh, you're obviously not a phonologist, so... <laughs> I, I know I brought it with me this morning. No, you didn't! Yeah, you dickhead. You you had one goal this morning, which was your wallet, and it took you a while, but you got <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, Bill, just hold on. Bill I, with three L's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's like, I just got my ass kicked. <laughs> I don't need you to leave me. Sorry, Bill. I gotta go. Before you do that, oh, shit. <laughs> Can you help me? My arm's bleeding. <laughs> and the only thing that'll help it is male on male open mouth <laughs> kissing. Exactly. And then we just smash cut to you. Must be 18 years old or ready to enter. <laughs> bandages and wraps. Okay, Ooh, fine, man. Just I have some bandages, yeah. wraps, and a shocking supply of teledildonics. <laughs> exactly. Don't <laughs> press the red button in there. <laughs> just a bunch of like, his like, yeah, that'd be great. It's like his, uh, his portal, like, Perimeter robot, like, uh, figurines all come to light, but they're like just teledildonic, like, prototypes. <laughs> also, Bill, uh, your fucking legs work. Why do you want this guy to do all your stuff for you? Just because you want to hang back? I know, Jesus. Oh, my God. And why is it so ominous for us to just walk to the door like this? Yes, yeah, seriously, like, haven't you? There's no zombies in there. Exactly. Just Unless poops turn into zombies. Which, which would be, which would fuck us all, really. Exactly, because boy, all right, clicking. All right. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Once, once. Oh, bottom drawer. Hmm, seems to be jammed shut. Okay, okay. Uh, that is not what Bill asked you to do. He did not ask you to fuck up his furniture. Oh. Ooh. What the physics? Winged warriors. Can you take that with you? <laughs> Little something for later. Eater, <laughs> eater. Exactly. You know. When I'm taking a dump, I want to read some Winged Warriors. Gary, you're not supposed to steal his shit. He asked you to get bandages and stuff. Wait, Hold what on, about we the- need what, this. what was the blue thing? We need this. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's not for stabbing later. I'm not gonna lie to you, Josh. I'm, it's growing on me. <laughs> this game. It's growing on me. Um, are you sure you want to take that? Because there's a... Look at that shit. There's like a CO2 whippet container in there, too. Like. It's like a CO2 whippet container with like a USB-C thing on the front? Uh-oh. Um, you should, uh... What's happening? I'm gonna need brains as well as the first dirt. He's like, I've never seen you bend over before. Do you have a plan Z? You didn't have to come in here. And he's like, Bill's dead. <laughs> I'm the horny goat monster. <laughs> oh. The only thing left is plan Z. Exactly. Madden's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh my god, is, is the game running? <laughs> Bill, no. I said run the nickel defense. <laughs> I'm John Madden's angry ghost. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ew. That looks like he was making a, a go at a kiss. That really did. Exactly. He's like, uh, 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 no, all right. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Jesus. That's not going to stop John Madden. <laughs> My blinkers. <laughs> I defy gravity. <laughs> Everyone gets up this way. <laughs> like a rope swing. Exactly. I was in Cirque du Soleil for years. I had the lat strength of a 14-year-old gymnast. What the... And he's just like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh, my wife's probably... Uh, uh, <laughs> toilet uh, lid, right? Oh, These are all terrible options. They really are. Toilet lid, air freshener, plunger. Oh, here it comes. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Across the face. This is it, gonna work. This is gonna work. Is it? Oh, oh, I, that's not the toy. Oh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Slow mo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yep. that was shockingly effective. He might have yep. hidden some drugs in there, too. Look in the tank. <laughs> he just, there's just some air, like some water sealed eight heroin in there. Like, what? In, along with a couple of flashlights and some more Teletel tonics. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it's just already vibrating, like, uh, that, what? <laughs> And it's just, oh. it brings up the choose your own adventure thing, and there's only the one option. Uh, uh Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, back door. Decision up. made. Uh oh. Your wife's dead, bro. Sarah, why is she up? Something's not. Sarah's always lazy as hell. <laughs> I drug the shit out of her until like 4 p.m. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, that's okay. God. She just stabbed the neighbors. It happens. Okay, dude, you don't have to get your nose up to the handle gonna, to use it. I was gonna say! <laughs> I always lick the handle before I come in home. Uh, <laughs> immersion broken again. I'm, by the way, I'm cataloging all these in case we want to go back to any <laughs> Oh yeah, what if we need to go back so we can see alternate scenes? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's, what's going on here? Just like, this looks suspicious. Is this your womanly virtues making you crazy again, Sarah? What's going on here? That's the thing you- Thank you, Sarah, for saying the first thing everyone's actually thinking, which is, uh, is, is English your 10th language and you have no self-control with what you say? Exactly. You can see that Susan's dead. I've been handling things by myself as usual. You know I have to Wait, work over Wait, this is a conversation. <laughs> To pay off the house. How? What? You always leave me to kill people alone. Who thinks this is the conversation that would be going on right now? This is honestly like the experience I wanted from a what was that one wow. game that came out on PS3 that was like it was like a, a, a David Cage game. Oh yeah, the um, Heavy Rain. Yeah, it was, this is this is what I actually wanted out of Heavy Rain is for the main protagonist to be like basically from another planet and just confused right, right. out of his mind <laughs> like little aliens are operating human robot figures like like this is what humans argue about when one of their <laughs> yeah. ilk has been terminated she kept coming out. okay so we get the thing so she kept coming yeah, at what me what is sarah saying so basically she's just saying like she came at me doesn't know why so she killed her called 911 it was busy as we already know she kept going where's emma tell sarah what happened okay so what do we do let's just tell sarah Who's Emma again? Where? Why can't we have who's Emma as an option? <laughs> I guess tell Sarah that you murdered a man, right? With a toilet seat? I think Emma is their daughter, I think. Oh, good point, yeah. Must be something in the water. People are just going crazy today. Yes, One, that must, must be, be what it is. <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. Why is I taking the wave and I locked her in the garage for her own good? Uh, mm -mm, Gary, don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. Don't let her know that this is a... Uh, uh, do you even think about us at all? Oh, dude, this is... <laughs> yeah. You know what? This is kind of realistic. Like, this might be some an idiot dude would do this. Well, and this... Damn it, this is my fault. I can't even protect my own family. Okay, uh -oh. this is not the time for that conversation. <laughs> No one likes. <laughs> I'm sorry again. Maybe if I act more insecure, it'll make you respect me more as a human being adult. I was pretty worked up after that, so I went to Bill. What do you mean? He was okay at first and told me what happened with Susan. He was bleeding pretty bad. Thank you. So I was looking for the first aid kit. All of a sudden, he had the same blank stare Susan had and came after me. I did what I had to do. First, I opened a drawer and then I stole his book. Yeah. <laughs> I crushed his skull with a <laughs> toilet lid. What are you trying to say? We killed both of them? Uh, yes. Yeah. Something's, something's gotta be wrong with them. 
Maybe they contracted rabies or something. They weren't themselves weird. Gee, are these people idiots? Like, are they just like... The police will understand, Anthony. Where's Emma? When I called her and I locked her door, she's okay. Uh -uh. Oh, so Emma's home. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought she was like a college kid or something like that. When I heard what happened, I locked her in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what? Let's put, let's give her this knife and keep her in the garage. This is self-defense. Yep. You know what I'm really enjoying about this? Like, this is not common of when the zombie apocalypse happens. There isn't a moment like you'd see in Law and Order where they're trying to figure out how to cover their tracks. Right, exactly. All right, 911. Oh, fuck yeah, it's movie clip to. Oh, no, it's no, it's the real no. game still. It's the real game. All right, all we can do is Sarah. Hurry and call 911. All right, shit. Uh, wait, do I have my phone? Did you forget your phone again? Don't forget your phone is upstairs. Oh. oh, is it time to craft a phone? <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to Sarah. Don't talk to Sarah. <laughs> Don't talk to Susan. Don't talk to Susan. Eat an apple. Don't eat the ornaments. Oh my god, seriously, who. These, these apples are from Neon Farms. And here's what uh, what Sarah sees, is you walking around <laughs> like you're navigating your house for the or your legs for the first time. <laughs> she just hears from down the hallway, I don't need to go here. Okay. Sorry. She's like, the phone's in the bedroom where, who are you? <laughs> who even are you? Why are you sliding on the ground like we that? We have the exact same phone as our neighbors. <laughs> There's no batteries in it. Is he saying ring? No. <laughs> ring, ring. Busy, what the heck? I need to get back to Sarah. I can hear you from here, dumbass. Yeah, exactly. Stop talking to the phone. I've got blood on my hand. Hold on, Sarah. I'm coming. I imagine him talking like a, like, like a voice synthesizer type thing. I tried calling 911, but no one's answering. <laughs> so strange. You know what he is? Yeah, he's like one of the earlier models from the movie AI that what's his face played the uh, the man prostitute doll. He's like a prototype. Good story, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, the man prostitute doll. I know all about that. You know, what's his face from Gattaca? At least you're un at least you're conscious. That's a good sign. I'll look for the first aid kit, okay? Oh God, no! Wait, you had a first aid kit. What'd you do with it? Wait, do you have to go all the way back to? Uh to John Madden's house and take his, or do you have to find your own first aid? This is oh, the best game ever, by the way. This, yeah. It's got like, objectives. Your wife's, your wife already doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is realism. It, wait, God, I want to send us to the next episode where we haven't done anything. All right. Open. Let's see if we can get this first aid quit with Kit. Is it in here? First aid quit. I like it. First aid quit. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Freudian slip. All I right. think we actually do have to go back over to John Madden's house. I think we do. All right, just excuse me. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. You know, Sarah, pro tip, not like I know from experience, but I'm pretty certain if you don't just stare at the person you killed, you will have different feelings about it. Like, you won't have to feel as bad as you do. Josh, I don't think we can go back to John Madden's house. Hurry at the first. All right, shut up. Wait. And you don't have it in your inventory? I don't think so. I hate to ask this, but can you craft it? <laughs> and why is the crafting menu in like your like option? Ooh, ooh. No inventory. Right. So you have no ingredients. You have no inventory. You definitely have no output intelligently. We know this much already. Or with your motor skills. Dude, if this is some bullshit where like I was supposed to get the goddamn first aid kit last time and I at the house and I didn't and now I'm locked out of that house. I'm gonna be- I'm not supposed to go down here. God. I don't need anything down at the other end of my house. All right, let's fast forward till we find this first aid kit. Done. And we're back. Ugh. I think we found it. Maybe. Did we? It's we hard. found a knife set. <laughs> it's hard to know. I'll get to that in a second. Ooh, medicine cabinet in the kitchen? Forgot it's locked. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Sarah from the other room is just like, are you serious? Let's just take a knife. Why did you even lock that? What happened here? Um, I don't know. Isn't that where your wife grabbed a knife to kill some shit? I mean, she might be a killer too. All right. All right. Where's the fucking... Ooh, do you think that jersey will come into play somewhere? <laughs> I know, right? Like, it's just, in, it just of all the detail you have, you just, like, generic pictures from Miles and then this jersey. And, like, this thing is like, this is what Americans have in their kitchen. Football and blue jeans. Sarah, have you seen the medicine cabinet key? <laughs> oh, do you think it's, do you think it's at your valet board? <laughs> <laughs> 
your Ferrari is coming right up, is in here, Sarah would know where it's at. Are you the fucking guy from Memento? Like, do you have to leave yourself post-its to do anything? Dude, this is great. Sarah's <laughs> like, get the first aid kit. And she's yelling at you like you're an idiot. And then, but now she apparently knows where the key is. <laughs> she chose to withhold Hello, that. I think you're my wife. Do you know where the key is? Sarah. I, I, I can't exactly. find the key. Do you know where it is? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really can't remember right now. Can you please just break it open? <laughs> I need you to concentrate. Try to, try to remember where you put it last. <laughs> I of course you need me to remember everything. You're the one who left it by the TV, I think. <laughs> this is the weirdest fight. Arg, please hurry and get the first aid kit. I'm so weak. <laughs> you made me get up before I was ready. He has no emotion. Look at that. Like, mm, you're doing the perfect <laughs> voice for him. All right. We got this. Okay, fine. I will go find it near the TV. The TV is what you use for recreation. That is my understanding as a human being. <laughs> hmm. Sarah, is this a TiVo? How do I use the TiVo? I'm more of a Roku man. <laughs> Picture of the tree or card or names into forever. How long that lasts? Uh huh. Great. There's the key. Yeah. I will grab it out of the air. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Quickly, God, just get the medicine cabinet open. <laughs> He's like, have you ever seen Fringe? He's like one of those bald people from like the future Demento universe. All right. That should do it. Holy shit. <laughs> those are like Costco size <laughs> boxes of aspirin and other medicine. <laughs> I think they're like slow killing their daughter, just crushing up aspirin and like fucking putting that shit in her food. Oh. Here is the family size first aid kit. Time Here to go help your... Sarah. Here is your 9,000 milligrams of aspirin. It's like a massage table size suitcase. <laughs> Carrie, I feel strange. Help me. That's fine. <laughs> Gary, I feel strange. Help me. <laughs> Sorry. One more time, please. Just to make sure. Gary, I feel strange. Help me. <laughs> Dots. <laughs> Dots. <laughs> oh, hell yes. No, oh, no, no. Oh, close you took up. too long. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I, oh, first I opened the door after you told me where it was. <laughs> Actually, she just looks depressed. Yeah, she's like, this is why our marriage is failing. I know about your mistress. Let's get you seated on a chair. I'll take care of you. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And she's like, I don't believe that. And if you've been listening to me this whole time, you can't even get the... You'd be able to have that conversation finally. You can't even get the chair right, Gary. <laughs> Sit down in this chair. Whoa. He just kind of, in his, in his blur vision, he just kind of ignores the body still. Just like, mm, this is normal. Good fucking <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> that is some, um, <laughs> ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh, Sarah. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. I also, ooh, uh, uh, mm, we know uh, the truth, right? These don't, yep. these don't even look like buttons you can click on. Oh, there you go. We're securing her to the chair. Let me find something to secure her to the chair first. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> God. I'll see you in 45 minutes when I cope with this human situation. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even prop me up right. All right, listen. <laughs> We gotta secure her to the chair in a second. What do you say we hit that shit next time? <laughs> oh because yes, please God. I need to pee because it's been so goddamn long <laughs> getting through this shit. By the way, at this point, I feel like the greater metropolis area is now overrun with hordes and Gary here is the only one who survived based on his Mr. Magoo style wits alone. <laughs> That's it. Like, he's just, his idiocy made him luck out. <laughs> he, like, runs into some chick who's like, we're the only people alive, you have to help me repopulate the population. <laughs> and he's like, I am a human male. <laughs> <laughs> Procreation is <laughs> where... God. All right, we'll see you guys next time.